right, coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Jared Cannonier and Kelvin Gastelum. Well, he is one of the best fighters on this UFC roster, top to bottom to have never realized a piece of UFC gold. Former Ultimate Fighter winner Kelvin Gastelum, and some of you like to say embrace the grind. He has absolutely embraced it. He's embraced the sprints. Seems to have this champion's mentality, and he'll try to parlay that into another big win here tonight. And he's gonna need that mentality in order to build himself back to where he wants to be. But couple that mentality with the skills that Kelvin Gastelum possesses. He's a fantastic boxer. For a short guy, he does a really good job with his kicks. He's just a full-on mixed martial artist, a young man that has developed that fighting style from the very start. Truly, truly phenomenal fighter, a great ambassador for the sport. Kelvin Gastelum has it all. And maybe his best skill is something you can't quantify, his heart. He's got so much heart. He's got so much heart. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. Cannoneer is eight years his senior. He is two inches taller. He will have a six inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. If you just first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 17 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Yuma, Arizona, USA, Kelvin Gastelum. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, five losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Jared the Killer Gorilla Cannoneer. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big punch lands. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the top. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Cannonier. 
All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch man to the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Gastelum. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he lands another shot to the head. Just misses there with the left. Lands with the right hand. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Gastelum gets the tie clinch here. Big kick. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just over three minutes to go round one. And they separate. Oh, strong punch there by Cannonier. All 25 total strikes have landed for Jared Cannonier. Got to the clinch, controls the posture, and lands big knees from the close. Punch coming, it's blocked. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Got the single collar tie. Missed with that jab attempt there. Nice punch land. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, killer jab there from Jared Cannonier. Amazing to think where he would have been had he gotten an earlier start at MMA. He's only been at this for a few years and obviously has realized incredible results. It's scary, right? It's scary. It's scary to think who this guy would be if he started doing this early. But you live in the here and now, right? And Jared Cannonier is taking full advantage of every opportunity that he's given. Under two minutes to go. Cannonier gets caught with that punch. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, that's a good right hand. 90 seconds now to go in round one. Oh! Big diving punch land. Gets back up. Oh, no problem getting inside. Wow! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing. He landed with so much force. Nice punch there by the Alaskan Jared Cannonier. Oh, single collar tie here. Right hand punch from the clinch. Whoa! Whoa! And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, nice right hand. Just missed with the left there. Ooh, big shot lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now. And clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. So there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, round two is here. Both fighters ready, ready? to go. Jared Kennedy. Ready? versus Kelvin Gastelum. Gastelum gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Shot to the body is blocked. Oh, the killer gorilla jab. 
Jared Cannonier with that powerful right hand tonight. You gotta be careful not to eat too many more of those. I mean, he made his debut as a heavyweight. Right. And now he's down at 185 pounds, just demolishing dudes. Jared Cannonier is a beast, he's a savage. And whoever gets the lockdown with him better know they got their hand for it. Ooh, what a That's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 43 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Jared the Killer Gorilla Cannonier. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.